here's here's what's interesting. We do lose a lot of other electrolytes besides just sodium and chloride, which is salt through sweat. We lose iodine at about 50 to 100 micrograms of iodine um, per liter of fluid loss. We also lose um, about 40 micrograms of selenium, about 0.4 milligrams of copper, and about and we also lose some chromium as well. When you lose a mineral, some minerals have really low bioavailability that you need to actually consume a hundred X of what you lost to regain it back. And so chromium is one of those. Chromium only has a oral bioavailability from the diet or supplement of only 1%. So if you lose, let's say, let's say seven micrograms, because that's typically what you lose about seven per hour. You got to consume 700 micrograms to get it back because you're only absorbed 1% through the diet. Heat acclimation is great, but if I do this like a lot, how, how, many, how much minerals am I actually wasting? You just got to make sure you're getting them all back. Yeah, so red light is going to be higher in the sun spectrum early on in the morning and in the evening, whereas you have more UV in the midday. The two best things to help set circadian rhythm and improve sleep are basically the same thing. Get morning sunlight, turn lights off at night. You have to try to match your light patterns to how our body, our body has evolved because our bodies don't realize that we're in this 21st century of just fake blue light and all these other things that are blasting us um, and messing up our circadian rhythms. So if you can get outside for 10 minutes upon waking um, and get some good morning sunlight, and then also to make sure to turn off all the lights at night, like my neighbors, they all make fun of our house because our house is just completely dark, essentially, um, at, at, by like 6 p.m., um, that's key though. That's really key. I mean, you can keep some lights on, but they have to be like low, like basically low hanging lights that aren't just like really messing up your, um, your uh, circadian rhythm. And when you do that, what ends up happening is the release of melatonin will happen much sooner and it'll be much greater by getting morning sunlight and turning the lights off at night. And that's going to allow you to sleep better. Yeah, you got to be careful of using red light too close to um, to sleep. But if you use it like, let's say, five o'clock, six o'clock, kind of matching like a sunset, um, that actually might help sleep. But you got to kind of test it out yourself and see because, you know, how close are you to the red light? It, is there different um, in, infrared in it as well? Um, how bright is it? will depend on how it'll affect you. I personally don't think you can always 100% mimic nature and mimic the sun. If you can actually go out and look um, and sort of like get some light at sunset, that will probably be better for you than trying to mimic it through red light therapy. Based, based on a lot of my research and publications on a compound called inositol, something we make from glucose, but we don't do it very well anymore because of numerous factors. We need magnesium to actually make this compound. We get depleted of it through coffee and caffeine and, and numerous other things. So a lot of us are deficient in this compound. I'm telling you, just taking inositol, like one to two grams twice a day, Nine out of 10 people that I put on inositol have their REM, their deep sleep goes from 30 minutes to like two hours and 30 minutes. Like they sleep like the dead on this stuff. So they stay asleep and it's the deepest sleep they've ever gotten. And part of it is because inositol allows um, neurotransmitters to be released in the brain, like serotonin, which eventually turns into melatonin. So if you want to release the precursor to melatonin so you can fall asleep, you need inositol compounds to do that. And if you're deficient in it and you take this supplement, um, it can triple, quadruple your deep sleep. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.
from the website doctorstotrust.com, you can view the summary notes and share or print the PDF of those notes.